Confused. <laughs> and what did you just say? When I say it, I say it's very really good. It's very good. Very good. Okay. And you could really taste that creaminess. It wasn't. On the internet, I made some. I cook. I clean. You're a ta uh, mail order husband. I love you. I love you. I think my channel people gonna watch your channel because of me. Absolutely. Sawadika. Hello. And for those of you that don't know, Sawadika is hello in Thai. My name is Ivy and I'm married to a very, very sweet gentleman from Thailand. His name is Mac and we've been married for almost 22 years. We have three children here in North Carolina. You're here today to find out what went wrong with the two cakes that I baked for my family. One cake that I baked for my cousin was a carrot cake that had some little bits of pineapple in it. Another cake was for my sister. She requested a fresh strawberry cake and something went wrong. I can bake. I can bake. I even had entered a baking contest earlier in the day with my dad. I didn't win, but the judges did say that I came in pretty close. So if you are a baker, or even if you're not a baker, see if you can spot what I did wrong in my baking. I'll try to point out some things along the way too. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right, I've got to turn this on. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh, my. <laughs> That's much. Holding your hair, bending over the bowl. Those things aren't traditionally done in a certified kitchen, but it's okay. This was at our house, so we were fine. Um, Usually, if you're baking, and you know this if you're a cook, you tie your hair away so that the hair doesn't fall in your food. There you go. Crushing the pecan. Come on. It's my turn. Yeah. Maybe. Let's yeah. do one more. My turn. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Cheese! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Oh, wow. oh yeah, bye. Day one. 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 Bye. Bye. my cousin, he said that I let the cake batter sit in the pan for too long, so the sugar settled to the bottom, making it a little bit more crispy. So if you've ever had baked goods, you know that a cake is a cake and a brownie is a brownie. They're not supposed to have the same kind of texture. In fact, when we cut into it, it sounded like a crispy pork chop being sliced into. Don, what do you think about the cake? It was delicious. <laughs> turn it around, turn it around. Okay. It's like a brownie See, cake. So well, right now it looks new, like a new cake. Yeah. And then this is what's left over. So what I did was, I should have done two layers, right? You, how many did you do? I did three layers. Daddy said. I lost count. <laughs> Daddy said his carrot cake was three layers. So I poured the batter in three layers. And that's too small. It was like a brownie. I think there's enough layers. The right amount of layers. It was too crispy. But I really like the crispy parts. Mm. It's kind of like when you eat that brownie brittle. <laughs> Cakes aren't supposed to be brittle. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the, the, that's what makes this a game changer. No, it's not. It's innovative. <laughs> You're so sweet. That's what little brothers are for. Yeah, it's more or less. <laughs> so good. What do you think about my cake? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs>
Turn it around. What's wrong with my cake? You do. Your cake. No, what's wrong with it? Your cake it tastes like cookie. It tastes like a cookie. It tastes like cookie. Hmm. I'll try better next time. It's good. I like it. All right. <laughs> My brother. Monday morning quarterbacking on my cake. Um, so last night, my husband told me it was more like a cookie or a brownie. But this cake is nearly gone, and I think it is absolutely delicious. Look at this. So you know how with a brownie, sometimes you like that crust a little chewier? If you're going for that, maybe bake your cake with a three-year-old and not be certain of how much flour or sugar you put in your mix. But it not be pretty, but it tastes really good. Have a blessed day. I want to tell you a quick fun fact about the aprons in this video. First, this apron is from Paris and it was given to me by my sister-in-law, you. We were in Paris at a gift shop near the Notre Dame Cathedral and we were rushing about because our Thai husbands are, well, our husbands are brothers, Matt and Mike are brothers. We are rushing about, we're trying to get done at this gift shop so that we can get on to the next place that the guys want to go to because the guys aren't really fond of shopping. So anyway, we're in the gift shop and so she's checking out. Out and I have my things and she purchased this apron for me because she knew that I wanted it. I had it in my hand and I was debating whether or not to get it. She bought it and I thought that was an extremely sweet gift because she knew she was buying something that I enjoyed. So this gift is from my sister-in-law, you. I love my sister-in-law, you. The other apron in the video that you'll see is worn by my daughter. It was sent to me by my aunt last year in the mail. It was a very, very sweet surprise because this apron was actually made by my mother. And it was made by my mother for her niece, my aunt's daughter. And one of the reasons why this is extra special to me is because I lost my mom in 2016. So my mom is no longer with us. She's passed on and this is an apron that she made and it's especially treasured by me because my mother made it. So what a priceless gift to have for my own daughter to wear. Now, the second cake that I made was for my sister, my little sister. She's 14 years younger than me. I'd like to say that she's my first baby. So when she asked for a strawberry cake, I tried to deliver. Now, a lot of the strawberry cake recipes that I found called for a strawberry jello. What we didn't like about that was that the strawberry flavoring would be more fake. It would be going to have a lot of red dyes in it. So Clara, my sister, asked for fresh strawberries. This cake also also called for a strawberry reduction and I've never done a strawberry reduction. Anyway, so I did a strawberry reduction for the recipe and it bubbled and if I had followed the directions to a tea, I would have boiled those strawberries, those fresh strawberries down a lot more, letting a lot more of the water evaporate and the, the substance would be a lot more thick and that's not how mine was. So that made the batter itself a little bit different. Now that made the icing super, super runny and wet. This cake, when I get it out of the oven, I'm not as pleased because what you'll see is that this, these cake layers are really thin. This time I used parchment paper so it wouldn't stick and things didn't go well once I started layering the cake. Things started to go left and right. The icing oozed and the cake itself at the top actually started to split, almost as if it were an earthquake. And it was seismically moving um, away from itself. We started to use chopsticks to try to keep the cake at least together. That worked for a little while, but the more the icing stayed on, the more it oozed. You like my cake? I love your cake. Your cake is always good. Marco, here did. I, I. We had to use chopsticks. Now this cake was not 
quite as tasty as the first cake that I made for my cousin, but it was delicious. It was so fresh. It had sour cream uh, in the recipe and you could really taste that creaminess. It wasn't too sweet, but it was delicious. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, cool. Do you like it? I do. You're a picture. It's a video. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. You don't have to fake it. I'm not. You're not? <laughs> what does it taste like? Do you taste the fresh strawberries? The strawberries, cream, and moist cake, you know. The moist. It is. That's the whole point, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, on a scale of one to ten. Oh, it's definitely at least a nine or a ten. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Do you really? Yes. Honestly, what does it taste like? You have Sprite. You eat. You ding ding. Strawberries and love. Strawberries and love. Can you taste that sour cream in there? It's a little bit. That's in the cake batter, right? Yeah. Sour cream mm -hmm. in the back. I was expecting it to go in the icing. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I saw you make it, then I realized later you hadn't even made the icing. Mm. So yeah. on a scale from one to ten, how does it taste? Three. <laughs> thirteen. Oh, no. <laughs> you <said> thirteen. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm. What did you just say? When I say it, I say it's very good. It's very good. Very good. But, but when I film, you don't say it's very good. No, that is fake. But you know, in front of camera, when you eat it, you feel it by yourself. Mm. Very good. Yeah, one more bite left. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, John. Mm -hmm, love you. That's where the camera is. Yes. All right, do you like, did you like the cake, Dad? Love the cake. You did? I really That's loved it. That's all that matters. I like strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry good. <laughs> very good cake. Very good cake. Okay, that's enough. I really like the taste of it. I got some mixed reviews from my family because I always think I need a 10, right? You think you need a goal. Um, they said nine, nine point five, and you know what? I'll take it. Make it softer to cut. Freeze uh, it. I, no, this one by accidentally freezing. Usually, we don't want to uh, actually freeze. You can leave it outside. You don't have to put it in a refrigerator at all. Oh. But you remember last week our refrigerator is not work. I fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it, and you fixed the microwave. You have to put the microwave. What it do? You took the refrigerator apart twice. You took I everything out and Until put it back in. I got the uh, uh, part there. I ordered this part from eBay, so I can show you. Yeah, this is the old one. That it not work while the our refrigerator is not fit. fit. You could have just bought a new refrigerator. Uh, fifty three baht, and you save a thousand. Yeah, and we saved five hundred on the microwave. No, seven hundred. Seven hundred. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm poor. I, I'm. I'm I'm a poor guy. You're not a another. poor guy. You're a good another. steward of your money. My wife ordered from the internet. I'm here, so I cook, I clean. You're a uh, mail order husband. I love you. I love you. I think my channel, people are gonna watch your channel because of me. Absolutely. No doubt. You're the star of the show. Are you done? Can I take it? Give it to mama? No, you're not done. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Can I have it, please? Mercer. Yummy. Yummy. Good luck.
Today it's really good, huh? Mm-hmm. What pasta Thai? What's different about this one? Aloy ma. Hmm. Mai thêm khao nung, cải nung, nấm chim, yam ma. Hmm. Xôm tôi em rồi, ครับ. Nấm chim aloy. Hmm. And you made it. Hôm nay làm nấm chim đã aloy. Thái aloy ma. ขอบคุณมากมากนะคะขอบคุณครับคราวหน้ามาเอนจอยกันใหม่ครับเอนจอย Thank you so much for making it this far. I'd like to add one more thing, a small little devotional that hopefully will bless your day. It comes from Psalms 103:1, and it's written by David in the Old Testament of the Bible. And you can find your Bible, your translation in your own language at Bible.com. I use the U version app, which comes from Bible.com, and it's extremely helpful. My husband is Thai. And they have Thai translations. They have French. They have. You would be hard pressed not to find your language there. The verse that I want to focus on: Psalms 103:1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. And so that is a way of worshiping and giving thanks for our circumstances. We are created by a loving Father. We have nothing that we can give back to Him for His graciousness to us. And I remember I was praying to God, and I thought it was some novel idea that, oh dear God, I have nothing to give you. So whatever is in my soul, I send back to you. When I read this scripture, I realized this is something that David even pronounced: "God, I have nothing to give back to you, but I give whatever I." Have within me, my soul, my spirit, whatever I can send back to you, God, I give to you in praise. I have a very special place in my heart for Thailand and Southeast Asia, and really non-native speakers all over the world. So, any questions you have about American culture actually helps me teach you. Mom. I miss you and Grandma. I think of you both, especially when baking in my kitchen. We are so grateful for the time we were given together, and that you got to spend one year with your grandson. I've started a YouTube channel, and while I'm absolutely terrible at it, I pray I'll get better and better with each upload. You would have loved it and supported me no matter what. This is Judy Miller, formerly Judy Legacy. She married Carugas. Thank you so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hi.